Hi, my name is Wendy Reed and I teach high school math and we're going to learn a little bit today about area of a composite figure. A composite figure is basically a figure that is not just one thing that you can take the, the area of. It's actually made up of different shapes. Like for example, if you look at this one, you can see we've got a few different shapes here. We've got like a little square here, we've got a little like a rectangle here, and we've got a little rectangle here. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to separate this into three different shapes that we can actually take the area of. For example, <clears throat> we can cut this little square off and we have a little square we can take the area of. You know, the square is either the side squared or the length times width, either one. So 2 times 2 is going to give you 4 meters squared for that little section. And then we can cut this little section off, and this will be a rectangle. You've got your length and your width. So 7 times 6 is going to give you 42 meters squared for that one. Then we've got another rectangle here. 10 times 5 is going to give you 50 meters squared. Now we've got each of our little sections. So to find the area of the whole thing, you just add them all together. For example, 50 plus 42 plus 4 is going to give you 96 meters squared. And that would be the area of the whole figure. Let me show you another one. <clears throat> Let's say we had something that wasn't quite as simple to see. Um, Let's say you had something like this. Okay, here we have two semicircles and a rectangle. So what we really need to do is take the area, if you put these two semicircles together, you get one circle, and then you've got a rectangle in the middle. So we need to take the area of the rectangle and the area of the circle, which would be the two semicircles put together. So the area of the rectangle would be 6 times 8, which would be 48 meters squared. Now you may wonder, for this circle or semicircle, area of a circle, is pi times the radius squared. Well, I don't have the radius, but this side of the rectangle is actually the diameter of the circle. So if you divide that by two, it gives you my radius. So my radius is three. So then I just plug that in. So we have pi times three squared, and you can just plug it out in the calculator. Let me grab it. Again, our pi button is right above the house top. So we have second house top that gives us pi times the radius which is 3 squared. We have pi 3 squared. Hit enter. And that's going to be 20, about 28.3. So 28.3 meters squared. So now we have our half circles put together to make a whole circle. And we have our rectangles. We just add them together. So 48 plus 28.3 it's going to be about 76.3 meters squared and that's how we do area of a composite figure